games and codes, jitway.com is the place for you. Link is also in the description. Just like that, Ovi puts it in. One, two, three, he makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Man just slides through, oh, he's got a man through a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. What's going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a special and very important FIFA 18 tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about finishing. We've got all sorts of tricks in this tutorial and in the next couple of minutes I'm gonna teach you how to use the driven finish, how to score at the far post, how to score inside the box by using the finesse shot, how to score from outside the box by using the finesse shot, how to score from outside the box with the power shot. I'm gonna teach you how to score using the chip shot how to resist the chip shot trap. Uh, it's a bit more complicated, but you're gonna see in the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna teach you the second man support play with the normal pass and with the driven pass. And last but not least, we're gonna see how important are the skill moves in order to get into the right position to shoot the ball and finish. Before getting into the gameplay examples, you are welcome to leave a like, show your support toward the tutorial series. Let's try and get over 2000 likes for this awesome FIFA 18 finishing tutorial. First, we're gonna talk about the driven finish, when and how to use it, guys. It is important to know that in order to do the driven finish, you will have to tap twice on the shot button. Another important trick that you need to know guys is that the more you hold the shot button the first time the more powerful the driven finish will be you're gonna use this type of finish when you are closer to the goalkeeper between uh, six and uh, two three meters when you're further away of course you're gonna hold longer the first time you press the shot button to give a bit more power to the shot when you're closer to the goalkeeper just double tap the shot button in order to score of course each time you're gonna have to point the left analog towards the direction you want to shoot the ball to and that direction should be at the far post Next, let's talk about uh, finishing at the far post and this time you're not gonna be using the driven finish because you're too far away from the goal, from the goalkeeper. Usually you're gonna do this type of finish only when you are on your player's dominant foot or if you've got a player with the minimum four stars at the weak foot. Will work also with three but it will be a lot more difficult once you get possession of the ball guys you're gonna have to move the left analog towards the far post as you are seeing in this example and afterwards you're gonna load the shot button between two and two and a half bars depending how far away you are from the goal the shot will go uh, directly in the top corner guys almost impossible for the goalkeeper to defend such a beautiful beautiful finish now that we've spoken about uh, how to finish with uh, a power shot inside the box let's see how to finish with the finesse shot inside the box again you're gonna have to use the dominant foot of your player or if your player has minimum four stars at the weak foot don't try it if your player has uh, three or under stars at his weak foot you're gonna have to aim diagonally at the far post never try to do the finesse shot at the near post guys extremely important to know once you are aiming at the far post again load between two and two and a half bars in order to do a finesse shot and score a goal from inside the penalty box let's get now to how to score from outside the box with the finesse shots and it's really really important guys that you take into consideration here so many things i've also done a tutorial about it but i'm gonna repeat things for you number one when you want to score a finesse shot from far out guys and you are in the angle that you are seeing right now you don't really see the goal and let's face it it's not a very very good position to finish you're gonna have to move 
the left analog at a 90 degrees angle and while the shot button is loading move a bit to a 75 80 degrees angle that's very very important that last move of the analog power of the shot should be between uh, two and a half maximum three bars and the result is absolutely beautiful second scenario guys is in this situation we've got Messi here and he's already facing the far post just continue moving with the left analog as you see in the example and power the finesse shot again at two and a half bars that's uh, in my opinion the perfect way to score finesse shots from far out last but not least maybe the most overpowered way to score finesse shots to score long shots from far range because Finesse shots are so so OP this year. I'm facing now the near post because I'm at the half of the midfield. What I want to do now is just aim straight, guys. Not in a diagonal direction. Don't change anything. Just aim almost straight. Just let's say a 10 20 degrees angle change. That's all you need in order to score that. Let's get now to our long power shots and see how to score them. First example, you just aim diagonally in the direction that your player is running. Power up between 2.5 and, and 3 bars in order for the shot to go in. Look at that, no chance for the goalkeeper. Second variation is a bit more complicated and will need a bit more practice to master. As you can see here, I am facing the near post. I don't want to do a shot at the far post. I want to do it at the near post, guys. Remember this because this is very important. Of course, I'm on my player's dominant foot. And as you are seeing in this example, I'm moving the left analog in front and then moving it a bit up when the shot button is loading to give a bit of spin to the ball and make it almost impossible for the goalkeeper to save it guys it's very important that uh, you keep in mind this trick that i showed you for this particular example let's talk now about the chip shot guys it's extremely important to know it's mostly effective on counter attacks guys pay attention at the distance between you the goalkeeper and goalkeeper and the goal if it's something like in this example when the ball has time to go over the goalkeeper and also has time to drop in the goal then you need to use the chip shot the power of the shot should be around two and a half bars and you need to be very careful here because i'm gonna show you now in the second example what can happen when the player tries to fool you with the, the goalkeeper a lot of uh, good professional players use the goalkeeper to bait you into doing a chipped shot but then they just uh, use the goalkeeper to exit a bit and then bang they retreat with the goalkeeper making your chip shot useless so you gotta pay attention a lot and when this happens and you see the goalkeeper has already moved back to the goal and you've stopped sprinting guys because it's very important do not shoot while sprinting use a finesse shot instead of the chipped shot this way you're gonna score no matter what only two more things to talk about guys but very important things the second man support play check this first example here I'm closed down by the goalkeeper, by the defenders. Don't have an angle to shoot the ball. Smartest thing, guys, is to locate the nearest player, nearest player teammate that is open and pass him the ball. You can do that by doing a simple pass or you can do it like in this second example here when we go inside from the wing and we use a driven pass to our striker and he's open all alone with the empty goal and scores an easy easy goal last but not least guys skill moves I've done so many tutorials about it I'm gonna leave it in the description below you gotta learn them guys because they will help you 
get into the right position to shoot the ball. If you want to do a finesse shot, a long power shot, if you want to do a far post shot inside the penalty box, if you're flanked by a defender, the drag back, the body feint, uh, other skill moves, the heel to heel, flick, uh, Ronaldo chop, so many skills that will help you. And I've got a tutorial about all the skills in the game. I will leave the link in the description below. And also another tutorial about the best skills in FIFA. 18 that link will also be in the description make sure to check it out learn those tricks because as you can see they are so important and they help you so much to get into the right position to shoot the ball this will be all for today guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like let's try and get over 2000 for this awesome fifa 18 finishing tutorial let me know in the comment section below what else would you like to see on the channel if you got any other questions follow me on twitter that's where i tend to answer a bit quicker to your questions my name is ovi and i'll see you guys later